Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are risking getting alienated by way of the British royals with their Netflix collection, in line with writer Richard Fitzwilliams, who calls their display an unfavorable assault on the royals. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex had been accused of exacting revenge on the royals following the discharge of the trailers in their display referred to as Harry and Meghan. The preview of the Six Element documentary confirmed the couple was being hounded by means of paparazzi and now no longer getting the assistance they wished from the firm. The 38-year-old is likewise heard within the video saying, there's leaking however additionally the planting of stories. It's a grimy game. Speaking approximately about the display with the Daily Mail, Fitzwilliams stated, this is a complete frontal extraordinarily unfavorable assault on the royal family the organization, in addition to the families and individuals of these families. He stated the collection will substantially weaken the royals within the eyes of the international, in particular amongst younger people. He claimed that it'll simplest widen the rift between Prince Harry and Prince William and shared his company's perception that the collection is a remarkable act of revenge, designed to weaken the very organization that William will inherit as destiny's king. Of course, all people may be asking how King Charles will react to this in the short term, but the consequences of this may be felt for years to come. That's the entire point, Fitzwilliams added. Meanwhile, Dickie Arbiter, the previous press secretary of Queen Elizabeth II referred to election as one lengthy wine. He thinks that Prince William and Kate Middleton watched the trailers and stated to themselves, oh God, right here we go again. Netflix has referred to the Doka series as a Netflix global event and said that it'll display a never-before-seen look at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The streamer stated the display explores the clandestine days in their early courtship and the demanding situations that brought about them feeling compelled to step down from their full-time roles within the organization. The collection does more than light up one couple's love story, it paints an image of our international business and the way we deal with every different culture. Harry and Meghan will launch in parts. The first three episodes will arrive on December 8 and the final three on December 15. For years and years and years, the royal family's own circle of relatives famously observed the motto in no way complain, in no way provide an explanation for, which essentially intended that they'd have blanket coverage towards airing their drama in public or ever commenting on rumors approximately themselves. Clearly, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle no longer allow that rule to keep them from being obvious to the public, see their Oprah interview, Harry's remarks in the me you can't see and his upcoming or already arguable memoir, simply to call some examples, however, that doesn't imply they plan to formally weigh in on each rumor about them that receives buzz. Specifically, don't count on any legit remark from Team Sussex regarding the slew of allegations about them posted in Tom Bower's Revenge. Meghan, Harry, and the war between the Windsors. You can't reply to it all, royal professional Gareth Russell defined to us weekly. If you spend your day answering every unmarried email, letter or allegation, it'll eat your entire day. You won't have spare time to commit to your personal intellectual fitness and your personal well-being. Revenge covered a protracted listing of clean allegations approximately Harry and Meghan and their royal exit, which includes claims that Meghan became disillusioned approximately her 2017 Vanity Fair cover and rumors that the Queen and Prince Charles have been annoyed approximately her estrangement from her father, Thomas Markle amongst others. Russell says that publicly addressing the EEE books claims could surely simply be a waste of time for Harry and Meghan. When you're as well known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, there's going to be lots of speculation, he defined. It doesn't continually correct everyone's lifestyle in public to continually be answering and rebutting the one's claims. Still, Russell says Harry and Meghan's willingness to be candid about their lives and struggles which includes struggles with different individuals of the royal family goes to be a large part of their legacy. I suppose Harry and Meghan will possibly be remembered because the folks who bury them and complain never in any way provide an explanation for their mincet for themselves or for future generations of the royals, he added. And that, maybe, isn't any terrible thing. Thank you for watching till the end. Please share with us your thoughts in the comments.